logic levels and pulse waveforms. Digital systems use the binary number system. Therefore, two state devices are used to represent the two binary digits I and 0 by two different voltage levels, called high and low. If the high voltage level is used to represent I and the low voltage level to represent 0, the system is called the positive logic system. On the other hand, if the high voltage level represents 0 and the low voltage level represents L, the system is called the negative logic system. Normally, the binary O and I are represented by the logic voltage levels OV and plus 5V. So, in a positive logic system, I is represented by plus 5V, high, and O is represented by OV, low, and in a negative logic system, O is represented by plus 5V, high, and I is represented by 0V, low. Both positive and negative logics are used in digital systems, but the positive logic is more common. For this reason, we will use only the positive logic system in this book. In reality, because of circuit variations, the O and 1 would be represented by voltage ranges instead of particular voltage levels. Usually, any voltage between 0V and 0.8V represents the logic O and any voltage between 2V and 5V represents the logic L normally. All input and output signals fall within one of these ranges except during transition from one level to another. The range between 0.8V and 2V is called the indeterminate range. If the signal falls between 0.8V and 2V, the response is not predictable. Digital circuits are designed to respond predictably to input voltages that are within the specified range. That means, the exact values of voltages are not important and the circuit gives the same response for all input voltages in the allowed range, i.e. a voltage of 0V gives the same response as a voltage of 0.4V or 0.6V or 0.8V. Similarly, a voltage of 2V gives the same response as a voltage of 2.8V or 3.6V or 4.7V or 5V. In digital circuits and systems, the voltage levels are normally changing back and forth between the high and low states. So, pulses are very important in their operation. A pulse may be a positive pulse or a negative pulse. A single positive pulse is generated when a normally low voltage goes to its high level and then returns to its normal low level as shown in Fig. A single negative pulse is generated when a normally high voltage goes to its low level and then returns to its normal high level as shown in Fig. As indicated in Fig, a pulse has two edges, a leading edge and a trailing edge. For a positive pulse, the leading edge is a positive going transition, PGT or rising edge and the trailing edge is a negative going transition, NGT or falling edge, whereas for a negative pulse, the leading edge is a negative going transition, NGT, and the trailing edge is a positive going transition, PGT. The pulses shown in FIG are ideal, because the rising and falling edges change instantaneously, i.e. in zero time. Practical pulses do not change instantaneously from low to high or from high to low. A non-ideal pulse is shown it has finite rise and fall times. The time taken by the pulse to rise from low to high is called the rise time and the time taken by the pulse to go from high to low is called the fall time. Because of the non-linearities that commonly occur at the bottom and top of the pulse, the rise time is defined as the time taken by the pulse to rise from 10% to 90% of the pulse amplitude and the fall time is defined as the time taken by the pulse to fall from 90% to 10% of the pulse amplitude. The duration of the pulse is usually indicated by pulse width TW which is defined as the time between the 50% points on the rising and falling edges. Thank you.